I'm filming this video, finally. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a video that I have been so patiently waiting to share with you. If you haven't seen part one to this video already, I'm going to leave it linked down below, but you did join me in transforming the walls and doing some DIY paneling. But today, my friends, it is the official and the final filming slash beauty room tour that I have been waiting and waiting to show you. So I'm gonna keep this intro very short and sweet, but get prepared to see lots of videos with this new backdrop. And without further ado, let's get into the room tour. So from the landing, if we open up, this is what you see. So I'm gonna give you guys a overview here of the room with my wide angle camera because this camera that I'm using, the point and shoot, is gonna be great to show you in detail stuff, but obviously the room is a lot easier to see in this kind of angle. So I wanted to give you the overview. This room is honestly the room of my dreams. So coming back to where I am now, we then have behind the door, which is kind of like my little storage. I kind of use it like a storage cupboard essentially, because obviously this door tends to be open most of the time. So when it's open, I can hide stuff behind there. This is where my tripod lives and my phone tripod, obviously because this is a filming room, I need it for the content. So it's nice to keep it out of there. I've then got my charging bank for my batteries. So I've constantly always got a battery on the go. And then I've also got my Dyson air wrap I've recently bought this and the kit is just so massive so I tend to just keep it out because I tend to pull it to whatever mirror I'm using and doing my hair at. I then have my little chest of drawers here so this set is actually from a range that is from next home so because it matches I feel like it's really in line now mirrored furniture is not for everybody but for me I've had it for years and I can attest that if you've got a smaller space, using mirrored furniture is just an incredible way to, well using any kind of mirrors, but obviously mirrored furniture where it is fully 3D mirror, it really gives the illusion of more space. So on the top here we just have my bunch of Pampas that's in my Ikea vase. I believe I got this Pampas on Etsy, I will link it down below if I can. I just love this as my backdrop because usually this is what you guys will see. I'll be filming about here and sitting here, so this is important to have a nice bit of backdrop. I then have this candle, which is from Primark. It's just one of their diptyque style candles that was uh, 10 pound a piece, and this is in green tea. But I always think just having a candle in the background is just a nice little vibe. And obviously with all of my videos, I like to have them nice and calm and chill. So that was my little setup there. I love everything being really minimal too. And then I just have this corner exposed, which I really like because obviously it gives that illusion of more space. And well, it is space, we're not filling it up with anything. Then just before we get onto the dressing table, you would have seen in my last video to do with this room, I did some DIY paneling. So that is what you are seeing here. I absolutely love the way that this turned out the walls. So I did a half paneled wall. We've got dado rail here, which this is all from B&Q. If you want to see how I achieved this wall, I did it all by myself. Um, a little bit of assistance with dad and obviously borrowing his tools, but it is honestly so easy to do. You just need a little bit of math skills, a good laser level, a good spirit level, and some common sense, and you can go ahead, oh, and a, and a miter block saw, <laughs> and you can go ahead and get this exact look. So we've got that, I will link that in the screen right here as well as in the description box. So this wall color is Farrah and Bull Skimming Stone. I am obsessed with this color. I absolutely love how it turned out. It is just the perfect color and I want it in every room in the house. <laughs> I then have this little picture up on the wall. This is like a watercolor painting of a Jo Malone or it's meant to be like a Jo Malone perfume. I just really like the colorway. I like the style of this and the frame, is from, the frame is from Dunelm and the print itself is from Etsy. And then moving on to the main event which is my beautiful beautiful dressing table and mirror setup so as I said, the dressing table was from Next Home and actually what happened was the top of the mirror smashed. Again, if you watched my video on the paneling, you would see that it had a massive crack through it. I've lived with it for years and years and years and you kind of just don't see it after a while, but it did always bother me that it was there. I went to my local glass shop and got a piece of mirror cut and this was only about 36 pounds to get cut and I stuck it down and it looks good as new. So I've got a refurbished, repointed dressing table and then this is the absolute 
dressing table mirror of my absolute dreams. When I was a little girl and I started YouTube and I wanted to be a beauty guru when we had those back in the day, um, this was something I have always dreamed of. And now at 26, while I have YouTube as my job, I can finally say that I have achieved my dressing table dream. This stunning mirror is from Illuminated Mirrors, the one and only. This is also a brand new piece that has just been released. I shopped around for so long looking for the perfect Hollywood mirror. I came across a few brands based in the UK, as well as looking obviously on Amazon and eBay and nothing quite compared with what Illuminated Mirrors could offer. Now I am so proud to say that I am working with Illuminated Mirrors in this video. All opinions are completely my own and the fact that this has just been released, the timing couldn't have been more amazing. So this is the Illuminated Mirrors Diamond X Glow range. They have just come out with three brand new mirrors in this range, this being one of the three. So the way that they've made these mirrors different is, I don't know if you guys have seen before, but a lot of these mirrors, because as they obviously independently stand, they tend to have humongous bases. So I was looking at quite a few, and I mean the base would have probably come all the way out to here. Illuminated mirrors have revolutionized this, and they have simply put these beautiful diamond acrylic feet, and this holds the whole mirror. It saves you all that dressing table space and adds to that beautiful, sleek, clean look that you can see I've clearly gone for with this room. But along with that, you might be able to see possibly a tiny little light in the middle there. So this mirror is actually touch sensitive. And what the best feature is about this mirror is that, as you may know, if you're a makeup artist or you do your own makeup, you know, outside, the light changes. We could have sunsets, we have sunrise, it's really warm, it's really cool. With illuminated mirrors and this new Diamond X Glow range, you don't have to choose what bulbs you want. You don't have to choose warm, you don't have to choose daylight. These are something called Tri White Bulbs. So if I go up and click this, you can see that my lights are changing. So this is obviously it off. I can come in, I sit down, I just tap that and I get the daylight bulbs, tap it again, you get the in-between, and tap it one more time, you get the warm. So you can adjust it to however and whatever setting you want. This is absolutely invaluable for me because obviously filming in this room, I need to be able to adjust the temperature of lightings and the Kelvins in them because the sunrise, like I said, the sunset, I film with my window open for some natural light and I have the full custom ability to change that. So along with the mirror, you also get a little remote control because this mirror, as standard, comes with backlighting. I'm gonna put a clip in here that I took last night of the backlight. It's such a beautiful ambient lighting. If you had this mirror in, say, a bedroom, you know, your dressing table right next to your bed or something, this is just such a beautiful feature that you could have on as kind of like a night light. Obviously, there's multiple colors, as you can see on the remote control. There's so many options. You can bright it, you can dim it, you can flash, strobe, fade, smooth. I mean, you can literally have like a, a lighting DJ booth in the back of this mirror. <laughs> And then the only thing I remember as well, with the tri bulbs, they actually are replaceable. So with most of these mirrors you can get on the market, if not all of them that I've seen, when you buy them, you buy them as is. And a lot of them, like the Amazon and eBay ones, I found weren't even light bulbs. They were just domes with a little LED in it. So they're not replaceable whatsoever. However, this is where illuminated mirrors differ again because tri light bulbs, this new Diamond X Glow range, the bulbs are fully replaceable. So if you do happen to have one that goes out, you haven't just lost your whole mirror, you just replace the bulb. So that was the dressing table. I then do just wanna show you a few little insights into my drawers. So I've massively cut down my makeup collection. This is everything now that I own in makeup. I do have a couple of palettes that I keep away, but mainly all my skin, foundation, lipsticks. I'm just finding, I'm just finding if I can't fit it in this drawer, I don't need it. I just, I had so much makeup, working in makeup for many years, working for so many top brands. I had 
too much coming in and make up such a nightmare because you can't sell it obviously the minute you've touched it because it's not considered new and it's unhygienic. So I've massively cut down my whole collection so I can just sit here now, open this drawer and voila. The little seat as well, this was also from Next Home and it was something you could buy with the set. However, I will be replacing this. I've got my eye on an incredible chair. I'm just waiting for the Black Friday sale to come along so I can maybe purchase that. I then just have this drawer. I'm gonna just show you the reality of it. I've got my hair stuff in here. I've got my like skincare and bits in here. This is also where I keep my remote control. In this drawer, I just have some brushes, skincare, fixing sprays, primer sprays, cleaners, etc. I can't even remember what I got in this drawer. Ah, I've got some palettes, as I said, and my face masks, and then these are just my hair uh, bands. Over in this one, this is my hair drawer, so I just have some hair products. Again, I like to try and keep this as minimal as possible. And then in the bottom drawer, I just have it empty with my everyday makeup bag that I just chuck in there and I can grab and run out whenever I need it. So moving on, we then have my corner here and I have my beautiful pampas grass. This is a mix of pampas from eBay, I think, and also this stuff here is from Home Bargains. We put it together in a vlog um, that I showed you, I think three, two or three vlog, two vlogs ago, I think it was. I get so many questions about this vase. This is actually only from the range, and they also do a little mini guy now, which is quite cute if you want to put them next to each other. But I just really like this minimal background. It's very light and airy and simple. I then unfortunately have these two plugs which power my mirror and power that. There's nothing I can do about it, but I did just go to the local DIY shop the other day and buy some trunking and just put that on my skirting boards and it makes the world a difference. So if you've got annoying wires in your room, I recommend some trunking. It's so cheap and makes such a difference. Moving up here, we have this little pampas wreath. I just picked this up on Amazon. When it came, I thought it'd be a lot bigger than it is. It is quite small, and I think it was around 20 pounds. Again, though, if I can find it, I will link it down below. Oh, while I remember as well, this is my light. I did show you guys this on part one of this video, which was the paneling and everything. This light is absolutely incredible it is just at absolutely every single angle stunning so this is actually from awesome i've spoke to you guys about it before i will link it down below it is so affordable and it comes with its own remote control as well so again i can change the warm light uh, warm white or middle which again is super helpful especially with the fact that i can balance these two now so I can change them to the same tone or I can have contrasting tones if I want that as well. Then moving round to the window, there's not much to show here. I just have these lovely neck curtains there from Ikea. The chrome curtain rail is from Danelm and I just kind of have them tied up like this because Unfortunately, like I don't want my windows completely exposed because obviously privacy, but at the same time, I don't want nothing there as well and I don't want them fully covered. So I do also have a blind, as you can see here, so I can pull that down. And the other great thing now about having this set up is that once I've pulled that down, it literally makes no difference to the room because I've got so much light that I can play with. I can film in the middle of the night and no one would know. I like to keep my windowsill really simple and this is the setup that I have. I just have a white company fireside diffuser because obviously it is November, coming into Christmas, my favorite scent of all time. And then my little roses bouquet hat box thing. This looks way more expensive than it was. This is actually from Primark Home. And moving on to the most jaw dropping feature, of the room and probably what you guys have all been waiting to see. My absolutely incredible, incredible illuminated mirrors, Anastasia Tall Grand Mirror. I'm trying to stand back as far as I can to show you this. Again, I'll put some more clips in here so you can see it at a better angle. But you guys, I cannot tell you what a huge difference what a massive, humongous difference this is gonna make to content because I do so many try-on hauls, as you guys know, and I really struggle with lighting. I used to film in my full standing mirror in the hallway where I battled with natural light. I'd have to plug in my lights and set them all up from our spare room with an extension cord, and it was just all madness. Also, my mirror was quite narrow, and I didn't quite get all the shots in. With this, I can stand here, I can show you guys my full outfit, I have got the most stunning backdrop as well with another illuminated mirror and I, I just, I'm looking in this, this viewfinder now and I'm just like, goal achieved.
As I said, this is the Anastasia Tall Grand Mirror. I was really drawn to this mirror simply because there is no other mirror on the market that I could personally find anyway that is the width of this. So I believe this is either 82 or 87 centimeters wide. It's over 80 centimeters and that is not common. You usually find these mirrors are quite narrow, which is absolutely fine and that's that's actually perfect for set space saving. The new range that I showed you here, the Diamond X Glow range, they have just come out with a brand new full length Hollywood mirror that is also the same features as I told you with this. Obviously it doesn't have the acrylic legs because it doesn't need to. The idea of these mirrors are to be either wall mounted or like I've done, propped up against the floor. But if this mirror is too wide for a certain room but you want that Hollywood mirror look, then you can still achieve it and they have made it so affordable in this Diamond X Glow range as well. The reason I also wanted this guy was because, as you know, I film from here. So naturally now I have the perfect lighting setup. Ring lights are so forceful on your face this evenly lights my whole background and body and it's just gonna be perfect. So every single illuminated mirror is proudly made in the UK as well as the fact that they offer free shipping across their website. They've also partnered with brands like ITV, BBC, GHD, L'Oreal, etc. So they are extremely reputable and not to mention for peace of mind their mirrors come with a 10 year manufacturer's warranty as well so you can be assured that the quality is there. Along with the fact when I'm filming that if this is too bright, because as you can see, it's a little bit overexposed on the camera, just over the side here, we have a little manual tur turn dial, which I can just turn down, and I can have it on a much lower setting if I prefer. And then just finishing off the room, I've got my paneling around this alcove as well, and to finish up, I just have this sign here, which I actually made. This is a piece of driftwood I found down in burnham on sea on the beach. I cleared it all up, I painted it white, and I just put this Texas sign on it. I was watching a MTV Cribs of a country singer, and she had this Nashville sign, and it looked really cool, and I was like, I really want that. Scoured the internet, couldn't find it for love nor money. And then I was like, do you know what? I wanna make a sign something like that. So instead of going Nashville, I put Texas somewhere I would really like to go very, very soon. So to finish up, I have to let you guys know, as I said, this new Diamond X Glow Collection has just launched on illuminated mirrors and with Black Friday round the corner these are currently on 35% off they are on a reduced price at the moment they are not going to stay that way so make sure if this is something you want to add to your beauty room vision your bedroom vision it honestly for what you get it is just incredible. I forgot to say mine is the slightly larger one of the two. They do two sizes of this. So along with the fact that they're on 35% off at the moment, which is this one, the slightly smaller one, and the full length mirror, Illuminated Mirrors are also doing bundle discounts as well at the moment. Naturally, obviously, I will leave the link to the Anastasia Tall Grand, the brand new Diamond X Glow larger tabletop mirror, and just the bundle discounts as well down below so you can have a look for yourself. But if you are thinking of adding any kind of piece of this furniture to your setup, I promise you that illuminated mirrors are the place to go. As I said, I have partnered with them in this video, but I'm under no obligation whatsoever to tell you that they are good or bad. These have shocked me with the quality of them. And guys, that's gonna go ahead and conclude today's video. Thank you so much for having a look inside my beauty filming room that I have finally completed. I'm so excited to make so much good content over the years coming in here for you guys. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd love if you could stick around. And while you're there, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up as well. Shout out to Illuminated Mirrors again, genuinely. I can't express what a pleasure and an honour it has been to work with them on this video. These are going to be timeless pieces. I will leave you all to it. Don't forget to subscribe because we've got double uploads in November, triple uploads in December, and we have got tons, tons of great new content to come. So I will see you guys all in my next video. Stay beautiful. Ciao.